Steve, congratulations. Just how proud of your players are you after that performance tonight? I'm proud of them and I'm pleased for them as well because they got criticised a little bit too much after the result on on Monday against Czech Republic, not the performance. We've been improving for a long time, so it was nice to see the boys play on the pitch. We defended well. The most pleasing aspect was we played well. Was that criticism after the game against the Czech Republic a big motivating factor for you and the squad coming into this one? Nope. The motivating factor was to get something out of the game so that we could go into the last game with a chance of qualifying out of the group. Thank you, Andrew. Michael Grant of the Times. Hello, Steve. Were, were you delighted that it wasn't just about passion and fighting today? There was real football in that performance. No, we played well. Obviously, we had to be solid defensively. We had to work really hard when England had the ball to stop them creating the, the chances that they'll always create in a game. So that side, it was was pleasing. But yeah, pleasing that we could play for the back, play through midfield, and at times we played a lot of good football tonight. That was nice to see. Thank you, Michael. Stephen McGowan, Daily Mail. Stephen can't hear you. Stephen can't hear you. Mm. Let's try again, Stephen. Mm. Let's try. Somebody else ask. Oh, Matthew Lindsay, Herald. Can you hear me? Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Matthew, you go. Steve, you made uh, extensive changes to your team tonight, um, moving Scott McTominay in centre half, bringing in Billy Gilmore and Callum McGregor, Shea Adams up front. What was your thinking behind the changes, and how pleased are you that ev everything worked so well? Getting Kieran back into the, the back three and, and Scott gives us a, the platform to build from the back, to play football for the back. Uh, Billy and, and Callum in midfield are, are both good footballers. And we knew coming here we couldn't just sit in the defence for, for 95 minutes or whatever the game was going to take. We knew we had to, when we had the ball, take care of it and try and create our own chances and that's what we managed to do. Thank you, Matthew. Robert Grieve. I just ask you about Billy and what you thought of his performance tonight. I thought Stephen O'Donnell was exceptional. And Billy was Billy was just behind him. Nice for Billy to get that start. Big platform, big stage, big player, Billy. I've said for a long time he'll be part of the the future of Scottish football. We know what we've got in camp. We'll try to manage him properly, keep a lid on things and performances like that will do him no harm whatsoever. Thank you, Robert. Clearly, Stephen was exceptional. Presumably, yeah, extra pleased for him. Pleased for everybody. Pleased for all my players and all my staff. It was a little bit unfair, some of the stuff that came our way after Monday's result. Not Monday's performance, Monday's result. So I'm pleased for them. The objective tonight was to get something out of the, the game so that we could go to the last game with a genuine chance of qualifying out of the group, and that's what we've done, so we're, we're pleased with that. Thanks, Robert. Last two questions. We'll have Keith Jackson from the Daily Record. The result. Um, was there an element in, in your mind, was there a, an element of risk in, in playing Billy Gilmore from the start because of the lack of experience, you know, and, and, and because you, you didn't start him on, on the Monday match? So what element of risk would you, would you say there was involved there? I don't think there's any element of risk when you've got a player of Billy Gilmore's talent. When you put him on the pitch, you expect him to do what he did, which is get a hold of the ball for us, make his play through the midfield. Uh, so no, I didn't feel I didn't feel it was a risk. I thought the obviously the balance of the rest of the team has to be right to support Billy in his his role, and I, and I think we got that right tonight. Oh, you're on mute, Keith. There you go. 
what sort of future do you see in front of Billy Gilmore, Steve? And I know that everybody wants to keep feet in the ground, but he does seem to be a very special talent. I, I think I think tonight, rather than I've, everyone's already praised Billy, but I've already just praised him. I, I think you've got to look at the team performance as well. There's a lot of good good people around on that pitch that supported Billy on the pitch tonight, supported him well, and helped helped the lad to get through 75 minutes his his debut or his, his debut start for Scotland. I've I've said for a few. Well, for over a year now that Billy's a big part of the future for Scotland and we'll try to take care of him and make sure that he, he's a big player for us in the future. Thanks, Keith. Last question to Renata Heilborn, TV Globo. Thank you. Actually, it's me, Marcelo. Renata is our producer. Uh, so, Steve, my question is going to be about Kieran Tierney and Andy Robertson. In your point of view, is there any any other national team in the world with such good left backs <laughs> in, in their roster? Uh, and is it a challenge to to fit a formation where they can play together? We're delighted that, that we've got two fantastic players that can play together on the team. We found a way that, that suits the team, not just Kieran and Andy, but we, we can fit them into a good system that works well for us. Two great players, two big personalities within the squad. It was important to get Kieran back in the team tonight. I think you, you see that when we go to the pitch. It was important to have Kieran and Scott McTominay either side of Grant Hanley, who was also outstanding. And it's, it's important for us to look after them and make sure we get we get the right balance in the team. It's, it's very difficult to play two left backs in the same team, and we're grateful that Kieran is able to play inside one, but still contribute going forward as well, which is great. Thank you, Renata.